Philippians 4, 6 through 7. What does it mean to guard? Guard is a verb. To watch over in order to protect or control. Protect from harm. Guard is also a noun. A person who keeps watch, especially a soldier, formally assigned to protect a person or to control access to a place. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 in the New King James Version. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. In the New Living Translation, Philippians 4, 6-7 reads, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for what He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. God literally sets a guard over the heart and mind. A guard against anxious thoughts, against what ifs, against terrors by night, imaginations, and anything that is not of God. We need a guard, a security guard, a night watchman, secret service personnel over our minds. Why? Times are scary. Times are unsettling. But these times these troubles are no match for our almighty God. We must take every thought captive and ask Jesus to handle it. After all, Jesus is not only our guard, friends, he's our lawyer, our advocate. Let Jesus talk to those ugly thoughts. He's our defense attorney. So I wanted to give you a practical example of how the inner di dialogue might occur. I'm scared. Fear not. I'm with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I feel so alone and trapped. So that's the thought. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. I have loved you with an everlasting love, God's word says. What if I don't have money to pay my bills? God shall provide all your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. What if I get this virus? When you pass through the waters, you will not drown. When you go through the fire, you will not be burned. And by the way, many people who have contracted COVID-19 have healed and recovered and got better. God, I feel so restless. I feel trapped with this lock-in. I'm going crazy. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. I can't see my family. I miss them. What if I die? Nothing can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. No virus, no angel, nothing created, nothing in the spirit realm, not even death. Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Death, oh death, where is your sting? I, Jesus, say to you, I am the resurrection and the life. Though a man or woman might die, if he believes in Christ, he will live. I wanted to give you these practical examples of how to guard your mind with God's truth. You know, here in the USA, we have had many talks about active shooters. These terrorists often go where the most vulnerable are exposed, where there aren't police or security patrolling. It's a place that is unprotected. So what are your soft targets? The soft targets of the mind. Don't deny it. Tell the advocate Jesus about these soft targets. You need him to guard you, to protect your mind, your heart. Pray about everything. Speak scripture over yourself over and over again. Let's pray. Oh, Abba Father, we have many soft targets in our mind. We get anxious about many things. We're anxious about COVID-19. We're anxious about our family members getting it. We're anxious about getting it ourselves. We're anxious about the state of the world, the affairs of the world, America being on lockdown, Lord. Business is closed. Church is empty. Uh, our bank accounts, 401k, the stock market. We are anxious about many things, Lord. But you told us not to be. You said, let not your hearts be troubled. So we're going to choose to let our hearts rejoice in the name of Jesus, Yahweh, El Elyon, God Most High. You said that you are with us even to the end of the age. We're going to trust that you are walking through us, 
You're walking with us through this valley of the shadow of death. Lord, you told us that we are to be thankful. We're thankful for this home that we're staying in. We're thankful that you protect us from the rain. You shelter us in, Lord. You are our rock, our refuge, our hiding place, Lord. We thank you that your angels are guarding us and protecting us, Lord. We thank you that you will never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you that you are with us no matter what we go through. You're holding us with your righteous right hand, Isaiah 41.10 says, in your precious word. We thank you, Lord, that you are you are just holding us up, Lord. You are holding us. You are hugging us. You are embracing us, Lord. Great job. And we trust Great you, Father. Job. We lean not upon Great our own job. understanding. Great in all job. our ways, we will acknowledge you and you will direct Great our paths, job. Father. So I just Great pray job. and I ask that you Great would help job. my brothers and sisters praying with me right job. now. That they well would done. not let the enemy well steal them of joy. Well done. well done, Isaac. Well, well done. done. Let's pray. Well done. We thank you, God, that... Our mind is the battleground, but you are greater. You are the guard, Lord. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, there's another in the fire, and that's you, King Jesus. We thank you that the walls of Jericho will fall down flat, that you will walk around the walls of our mind, and you will shield us in. As it says in the word, you hem us in behind and before. You you know us, Lord. You know our frame. You remember that we're dust. You are our great Abba Father, and we trust you, and we entrust our cares to you. We are not going to let this world... Um, crush us because you already conquered the grave and the death lord and so we have an indestructible soul and we are going to lean into you we lean into the truths of your word we're going to have a healthy self-talk like david said why are you cast down oh my soul put your hope in god for i will yet praise him lord you are god our exceeding joy and we worship you lord we trust you we rest in you we hope in you we are going to say be anxious for nothing we're going to talk to ourselves lord and talk to you be anxious for nothing but in all things with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving we will let our requests be made known to you the god of the universe and then the peace of god which transcends which surpasses which makes no sense why should we have peace at these uncertain times because we trust our lives to the certain god to the one who made everything the sun the moon the stars all galaxies every cells in our body is held together because of you lord and we will trust in you the blood of the lamb washes us of our sins you make us white as snow and Lord, we will continue to entrust our doctors, our nurses, our healthcare workers, grocery store workers, Father, all those on the front lines, the uh, first responders, God, police, firefighters, paramedics, our pastors, all of these people that are working right now, we entrust them to you, God. And we're working too. We are praying. We're standing in the gap for them. You said, Lord, in your word that you, um, your, the eyes of the Lord go to and fro looking for a man, looking for a woman that will stand in the gap. May we be those men and women that will pray without ceasing, Father. Father, even in the night watches, even in the middle of the night, we pray. And Lord, we know that the battle is in the mind. So Lord, would you guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Set a guard, Lord Jesus, a watchman. You, King Jesus, Holy Spirit, guard our hearts, guard our minds, so that we wouldn't worry in these times. It's natural to worry, but we're praying for the supernatural. We're praying for you, Jesus, to intervene, to guard our hearts, to guard our minds, to guard our thoughts, and that we would acknowledge those soft targets. Lord, for me, it's my son Isaac. He has special needs. If he were to get the virus, he wouldn't be able to say his symptoms. But I'm not going to let my mind go haywire. I'm going to trust in you. I'm going to trust these in certain times to the certain God, Yahweh, the great I am. You told Moses, I am that I am. You are the I am. I am the bread of life. I am the living water. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the vine. You are the branches. I am the living water. I am the alpha and the omega. I trust my concerns to you, God. And I pray my brothers and sisters would do the same because you know the personal struggles we have and the soft targets of the mind so lord would you guard our hearts and guards our minds as we lean into you in these troubling times we do not have to be anxious but we will pray without ceasing trusting in you the great i am Thank you for Easter. It's coming. Thank you for Good Friday. The veil was torn from top to bottom. The blood of the Lamb, Jesus, washes away our sins. We're white as snow. And thank you for all these things. And thank you that we're sheltered in place. And you are our hiding place. And we rest in you, Lord God. And you're teaching us to pray. You're teaching us how to pray in these uh, times that we're living in. 
unprecedented times, times like we've never lived before. We're trusting in you, God. So I thank you for my brothers and sisters that have been praying with me and you're teaching them how to pray. And you give us, Lord, songs in the night so we don't have to uh, worry about the snares, the foul, or the disease. We trust in you and we hope in you. In Jesus' precious, mighty, matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you.